Welcome to 3 Minutes with Kyogen, where you get quick answers to your questions in just 3 minutes. Today's question. What are the challenges of using NGS for FFPE samples? While FFPE samples contain a wealth of information for the molecular characterization of diseases, especially cancer, two main challenges still exist for the NGS analysis of DNA extracted from FFPE samples. DNA quality and DNA quantity. Studies have shown that DNA extracted from FFPE samples is of low quality because of the heavy fragmentation that results from the preservation process. The heavy fragmentation restricts the use of DNA from FFPE samples in the following manners. This DNA requires targeted DNA sequencing as opposed to whole genome sequencing or whole exome sequencing and requires the use of small amplicons to accommodate the fragmented nature of DNA. As an example, amplicons of 150 base pairs, on average, are ideal to enrich targets from FFPE samples, since they are small enough to be used with fragmented DNA, yet yield enough read length to efficiently map and align reads. Furthermore, due to fragmentation, not all DNA is amplifiable or functional so it is crucial that only functional DNA be accurately quantified. qPCR is the most sensitive method to accurately quantify functional DNA extracted from FFPE samples. The second main challenge with FFPE samples is the limited amounts of extracted DNA. Since the same FFPE block is usually used for many different tests, this translates to very little amounts of DNA most likely in the low nanogram range that is available for sequencing. To overcome the challenges of FFPE quality and quantity, Kyogen has developed the GeneRead DNA Quantize System and GeneRead DNA Seq Panels V2. The GeneRead DNA Quantize System is a qPCR-based solution that quantifies the functional amounts of DNA and optimizes targeted enrichment conditions for FFPE samples without requiring any serial dilutions. The GeneRead DNA Seq panels enable targeted DNA sequencing by multiplex PCR. Two features make these panels unique. They use small amplicons of 150 base pairs on average. They require only 10 nanograms of DNA per PCR pool, which means that a two-pool panel will need 20 nanograms of DNA in total per sample. This is in contrast to hundreds of nanograms if other targeted enrichment technologies are used or whole exome sequencing is applied. To learn more and for a detailed discussion, listen to the NGS webinar series that cover targeted DNA sequencing and its application in translational and clinical research and NGS data analysis and interpretation. Thanks for watching, and join us next time for another 3 Minutes with Kyogen.